on hot pursuit. Listen, dispatch, this bright, this light is very bright, and it roars. Doesn't sound like anything I've ever heard before, man. Like, there's a dynamite truck. I gotta go check that out. It's girl to stay on him. Officer, Officer Hernandez is on his way. Oh, man. Why? He's in hey. hot pursuit. Dispatch 10 9. Like, you're breaking up, man. I can't hear you. I'm gonna go so, check out this light. Socorro 2, there's kids. There's kids in the. We've got reports of kids in the truck. Oh, uh, man. Yeah, sorry. I did. Your break. His signal's not great, man. I'm gonna go. It's, I'm in the Arroyo, right? It's kind of loud. Socorro 2, Hernandez is on the scene. He doesn't know where you are. Where are you? Report. Socorro 2. Uh, yeah, like I said, I'm at this shack, okay? Like, I don't. It's pretty. It's pretty loud. Shots fired! Socorro 2! Shots fired! Where? Shots fired! Uh, Socorro 2, you're breaking up. I can't hear you. And that's pretty much how it went, I it's believe. An authentic audio recording yeah. from yeah. that dispatch call. Yeah, spot on. The, well, like it's, it's, it's the explosions, you got to check it out. I have to. Yeah, exactly. You, you, you I understand. I understand. Okay, I understand the interestingness of like being like, "Hey, I think I saw an explosion over there," but you're in pursuit of this, like someone who's yeah, actively but, leaving the scene. Yeah, but if just I mean, it, if it's just it, speeding, it, who cares? It's a pretty. It's a pretty Let small town. They probably they like he probably knows who these kids are. Supposedly they're yeah, teenagers. He's, he's right? Like, like oh, fuck them. Yeah. Yeah. Like whatever. They're just like how fast are they really going? And this is the 60s. <laughs> <too, like. laughs> he's, he's pursuing them. They're going 55 in a 50. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. Like, it's what been a slow like, day. Speed, like, you know. It was a yeah, speed yeah. trap. <laughs> it was a speed trap. Yeah, he's going five over. <laughs> woo woo. He's like, I got to get my quota today. <laughs> uh, so Zamora made his way down a narrow gravel side road uh, that he uh, he was aware of that kind of headed in the direction towards uh, where he had seen the, the the jet of flame and kind of zeroed in on the sound that uh, this roaring sound that was coming from uh, uh, that direction so he uh, as he drove down the gravel road he reached a kind of steep hill which uh, obscured his uh, his view of the actual origin of this uh, what he described as like it's like a smokeless and blue and orange tinted flames uh which he had actually cited and he kind of like these weren't just like your orange and black you know an explosion probably something a wood burning or something like that it was something that and, again and he was basically me- off-roading at this point right like he's yeah. like he's 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 full this isn't like, he, he's not like oh this is some forest service road like i'm following he's like he's legit like just like i'm gonna drive up the side of this mountain <laughs> and it's weird to too because the way he describes the flame it's like a narrow funnel shaped uh bluish orange flame like dance it like it's like where where do you see that yeah, yeah it, right like it's pretty rare like maybe like a oh, i don't know like a hot air balloon yeah like a gas like a gas yeah. flame almost like um, you know we kick it on yeah, or something like, like I, that um, no, it's interesting. So he 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 takes three tries, three attempts to make it up the this the steep hill of which his cruiser is at the bottom of. So he's well, kind of he's, he's getting up there. He's <laughs> getting up there. Decides he's not to get out of the car. He's like, the I'm for yeah. Socorro. <laughs> um, so now, when Zamora gets to the top of this hill and he sights uh, this object right it's it's he can, he can kind of see this like bright shiny object down in the the arroyo which is a to most people who don't know what an arroyo is it is a dry it's pretty much like a dried up stream bed that usually is kind of like oh i thought you were saying oreo with an accent no. <laughs> <laughs> um it's usually like a seasonal it's kind of like a seasonal flooding stream that'll you know during the the rainy seasons will you know fill up but down there in this wide arroyo he has this um this shiny object and at first he thought this was some type of uh, vehicle like a like a car had somehow like flipped over uh, made it down into the arroyo and maybe it was like on fire or something like that like that's that was his first initial Which thought i would imagine wouldn't be all that uncommon right i mean something like, like that, that. Make, that's kind of what your eyes would think right yeah. Like, yeah yeah well i would say i would say going into this scene as you're trying to make sense of it you would go to what you know the most and so like for an officer like him like he's like, oh, it's some sort of. It's got to be a motor vehicle accident yeah, or something. Well, it's, it's obviously, it's a car with a bunch of dynamite in the trunk, <laughs> and then they rolled into the fucking, you know, yeah. a radio and exploded. Everyone knows that in the 50s, 60s, maybe early 70s, it was pretty common to drive with a like just a case of dynamite in your trunk. Yeah. 
Just so in case. Then crash. Yeah. So it explodes. <laughs> yeah. Dynamite I, in your seen, trunk. Yeah, I've seen enough 60s and 70s movies to know that if your Poison. car dries off any type of, you know, if there's any type of elevation change and your car goes over yeah. that, yeah. it's immediate fireball. Like, boom. Yeah. Like fireball. Boom. Yeah. yeah. So mm. Dynamite and, in every the time trunk. It's like, every time and your they kid go on like, your dashboard. Yeah. And then they go, ah. <laughs> They would have survived. <laughs> your car had it not been for the <laughs> you know case of dynamite. And your car automatically, sw- you know, within a frame change, changes to a different model of car. And as you go over, yeah. and you flip over five or six Actually, times, and then you know, dude, let's back in the day with the, the way those vehicles were built, they were steel death traps. Like oh, yeah. fender benders and people were decapitated. Yeah. I mean, cars were like, they were just, just they were made of solid machines. steel. Like it's just yeah, like it's crazy. Things were heavy as fuck. <laughs> and like now, you would... you show up to car accidents and the cars are fucking mangled and the people are standing outside hacking at dirt, being like. Oh, well, yeah, here's I'm the fine. thing, though. If you were to drive one of those old model cars now, and I think if you got a head-on collision with a, one of the cars today, Killing you would rated. just blow right through the entire car. Literated. You'd be like, you would like oh, nothing. Yeah, it would turn into dust. It would look like Thanos snapped his finger. You just keep dropping like just a solid metal eight thousand pound car yeah (laughs) just fucking just it would just destroy one of those unibody yeah like a new honda civic yeah oh boom dead uh so uh zamora as he as he gets closer uh to this object kind of walking along the 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 top of this hill um he sees what he reports to be a metallic egg shaped object and about he, from his judgment from the distance that he's at he says it's about the size of a sedan like a, about a large car um so as he gets nearer uh even even closer he realized that this object has a type of like an aluminum sheen to it because he, th- at this point he's he thought it was it might have been something chrome might have been something like that but he says it's more like an aluminum kind of like solid color as uh, opposed to like the shiny chrome reflective chrome. color yeah 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 um and he said that he could also see what looked like to be like four legs or struts reaching out from the bottom of this this object that seemed to be supporting it uh you know on the as it sat on the ground now i mean gear <laughs> And one of the probably one of the more interesting details about this case is that Zamora reported that this object had some sort of strange insignia, some type of symbol uh, on the side, which he could kind of describe later as being a kind of uh, he said it's like a, a side a or like on the side it's like a vertical arrow with a horizontal line beneath it and then with a crescent shaped line above it and that's pretty much what he described it's just, just, some just kind of like put a picture of it in the group for you Zell, it, if you want to put it up did you i can put it up here oh, okay put it up it's like it's not too not that dissimilar from the att logo no, <laughs> it's no. very yeah. similar it's a, yeah it's quite a little, a little bit of a knockoff we might have to report them actually <laughs> <laughs> That's in f- trademark infringement right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. People who are familiar with our logo, like it does like at first at first glance, I was like, is that our logo? <laughs> if, if you just like it's put a little, from the, buddy, it's a half the circle over time. Yeah. 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 yeah it, it's half, at least half of the logo is like, it's pretty accurate. Like, pretty it's half. us from the future, but Braden's driving. He's drunk, smack crashes the ship. <laughs> yeah. It's very, there it is. That, right? That's ATT that logo. Thing. And, like but pretty, instead of the close. move that line up top and just straighten right. it out, straighten that line yeah. out, and it's our logo. Straighten that yeah. line up, right? Is it possible that that logo was straight and then we crashed? And however we crashed, <laughs> okay, yeah. we warped the, warp the metal. This right. our our logo evolved at some point. Just got you know. <laughs> Um, so if if this getting rounder just like us, it, yeah, yeah. if this encounter at this that's point, our, that's yeah. our logo after for, you know six seven years of podcast. Too many arroyos. <laughs> uh, now, if that wasn't strange enough, seeing the, this this strange logo, unidentifiable logo on the side of a metallic egg with four little legs on the bottom, uh, Zamara actually noticed another thing going on was that there were these two beings uh that at first he thought they were children because these they seem to be in in comparison um like the the way he could judge the distance and the size of the craft they didn't seem to be like average height for an adult yeah 
Um, well, and then, and like in his defense, at a certain distance, like if I saw Andrew's kid. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments, but here's the next one over here. Or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys. Enjoy the next video.